Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Microcontroller 8051 video lecture series. And in this video, I'll be going to explain you internal RAM structure of Microcontroller 8051. Here, there are a few basic things that you should know regarding how internal structure is there with RAM. First of all, let me tell you what is the size of internal RAM with Microcontroller 8051. See, that size is of 128 byte. So obviously, address will start from 00, 00 hex, it will go up to 7f hex. 00, 00 means 0, 7f means 127. So 0 to 127 means in total 128 bytes are there with internal RAM of 8051. Those 128 bytes are bisected into three regions. First is register bank region. Second is based on bit addressable RAM area. And third is there for general purpose scratch paid RAM. How it is there? Let us see all those things step by step along with examples. So here, let me explain you first how resistor bank area is there with RAM with 8051. So here we have in total four resistor banks that you should know. Bank 0, bank 1, bank 2, bank 3. Each resistor bank is having eight resistors R0 to R7, you see. It is written over here. Bank 0 is having address from 00, 00 hex to 07 hex. Bank 1 is having address from 08 to 0 f. Bank 2 is having address from 10 to 17. And bank 3 is having address from 18 to 1 f. In total, 32 bytes are there. But here, my dear students, when you write program at that time, first of all, you'll have to select the bank. By default, it will be having bank 0. But as if programmer wants to use any other bank, then by using two bits, PSW.3, PSW.4, those are RS bit of flag resistor. By using this two bit, we can select any resistor bank. Here, for example, as if I write CLR PSW.4, what I do is I am clearing this bit, means this bit is zero. When I write SETB, PSW.3 means I am setting this bit PSW.3. What it means RS is 0, 01 now. RS is 0, 01 means what? Now I have selected bank 1. So now bank 1's resistors that is getting selected as per R0 to R7. Right. Now my dear students, when you execute instructions, at that time also there are few interesting things that you need to note down. For example, when you write move A comma R0, what you do? Simply you are copying the data of R0 inside A. But do you know which R0 that you are having? For that you need to know what is my RS bits. By default, obviously it will be 0, 0 for bank 0. Right, by default it will be taking this address 0, 0 means R0's data inside this resistor bank. But as if you have this PSW 0.3 and PSW.4 as per other bits means as if I say RS is equals to 10 means bank 2 will be selected and bank 2's R0 is having address 10 hex. Bank 0's R0 is having address 00 hex. That is how it is there. Right. So here you can execute this instruction. There is no doubt based on that. But here you should know which bank that we have selected initially. By default, obviously it will be bank 0 but you can change that also, right? Now here one more thing that you need to know, like you can execute move a comma 08 hex. Now it is not like you are copying 08 inside a. My dear students, to copy 08 hex inside a, you'll have to write hashtag over here. Here I have not written hashtag. What it means, this is address. Which address? Ram's address. So you see 08 hex, that is a RAM's address which is holding R0 inside bank 1 that is having whatever data that I can copy inside A. So directly address also can be written. It is not like you will have to select resistor bank. Like for example, as if I write 17 hacks over here, then 17 hacks that is R7 of bank 2. So that data, which is there with R7 of bank 2, that we will be copying inside A as if you write this instruction, right? So directly address can be written over here. Now, my dear students, let me explain you second area of internal RAM, that is bit addressable area. Here you see we have 16 bytes, which are bit addressable over here. 
it is starting from 20 hex to 2f hex right in total 16 bytes are there which can be addressed as per bit here my dear students how many bits are there with this 16 bytes obviously 16 into 8 means 128 bits are there how to address this so obviously it will start from 00, 0 it will come over here up to 07 means 20 hex that is having 0 to 07 bit address then 21 hex that is having address from 08 to 0 f that is how up to 2 f hex that is having 7 f to 7 8 hex bit addressable that is how it is there so here you can address that as per bit as well as byte but specially bit addressable that i have mentioned the reason is this memory locations that can be addressed as per bits all these memory locations cannot be addressed as per bits right byte wise operation can be done but bit wise is also possible let me explain you a few examples like when you execute set b 7 f hex what you do see 7 f hex means msb of 2 f hex that is this bit msb only right single bit so this bit that will get set over here when you execute this for example let me execute clr 08 hex what you do you will be clearing this bit which is having position 08 hex 08 hex is over here that is lsb of 21 hex so that bit will get clear so single bit clear that can be done over here for example when you write move 20 hex comma hashtag ff hex then what do you do here my dear students at 20 hex you will be copying this data this data is what all ones so eight ones are there all eight ones that will be copying at the address 20 hex so 20 hex is having this bits all bits will become one after this so byte wise operation is also possible but bit wise is also possible this is specially used for bit addressable area right all the resistors as well as all the locations that can be performed with respect to byte but bit wise specially this addresses are only available right so this 16 bytes in total 128 bits that can be used as a bit addressable with the internal ram structure of 8051 microcontroller now third category that is general purpose area in ram that is also referred as scratch pad ram you see 30 hex to 7 fx in total 80 bytes are there that we can use it for general purpose here my dear students first of all programmer will have to decide how to use this it is not like automatically things will happen right here programmer will have to program things in such a way so that programmer can use this general purpose area right so here by using push and pop instruction you can use this as well as in call subroutine as well as in isr this area can be utilized right so here in total 128 bytes are there 32 bytes are there for resistor bank 16 bytes are there for bit addressable ram and 80 bytes are there for general purpose right and this is how internal ram structure is there and one more essential thing that you need to note down like stack pointer that will be holding address of top of stack that is there inside this ram only right and that is used for push and pop so that is also i'll explain you in future coming videos so that you will be having fair enough idea about this i hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in comments i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video